Now one boy said, I am the mighty Raven. Now I'm releasing the Shakti Shela weapon. Stop it if you can, Lakshman. Saying this, the boy threw a lotus flower at Nithyananda and in the mood of Lakshman. Oh, hello everyone. My friends, you're here. Yes, it's me reading again. You know how much I love these magic books. But yes, today I've been celebrating a special birthday. It's been Lord Nityananda's birthday, Nitai's birthday. And there's a few special ways that I like to celebrate his birthday. I like to make a cake. I also like to sing, sing about him. I like to sing about Krishna because he really likes that. And I also especially, especially love to read stories about him. So at the moment, I've been reading the Sri Chaitanya Bhagavata. Now this is written by a very special author. An author is the person that writes the book. His name was Sri Vrindavan Das Thakur. It's a very long name, I know. But you know what? He just loves Lord Nityananda. He writes so many very, very cool stories about Lord Nityananda. And I was absorbed in one of the stories. Oh my goodness, it was so much fun and very exhilarating and adventurous and... oh. Where are my manners? Yes, would you like to join me in the story? You would? Well, that's perfect, because I would like it if you joined me too. Well, shall we get ready? Let's get ready to go into the story. Now, you know, the way to get into the magic book is to say the magic words. Are you ready to dance your way through into the magic words? into the magic book. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's open the Chaitanya Bhagavata. <gasps> what do we see? Lord Chaitanya and Nityananda are dancing in front of me. So let's all put our hands together and we're going to clap the magic word. Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Now on the small, small earth, there was a small, small country called India. In the small, small country, there was a small, small district called Radhadesh. And in the small, small district, there was a small, small village called Ekachakra. And in the small, small village, there was a small, small house. It was the house of Padmavati and her husband, Hadai Pandit. Oh, they were a lovely husband and wife, and they had a few children, but their oldest child was called Nithai. Now, can I tell you a secret, children? You cannot tell anyone. Okay? All right. Nithai, that little Nithai, is actually, is actually Balaram. Do you know who Balaram is? Balaram is Krishna's brother. 
in the spiritual world. Shh. I think I said it a bit loud, but Balaram has come down secretly and he's living in this little village, in this little house of Padmavati and Hadai Pandit as their son. And he's waiting, he's waiting because soon Krishna is coming too. So he's preparing, but while he's waiting, he's having a few little pastimes himself. Madhati had a boy and Nithai was his name, oh. N-I-T-A-I, 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 and Nithai was his name, oh. But Madhati had a boy and Nithai was his name, oh. They'd always suggest different games. They'd say, Nithai, shall we play this? Shall we play this? Shall we play catch? Shall we play I spy? Shall we play stuck in the mud? Oh, what shall we play, Nithai? And Nithai's favourite game of all the games was the Krishna pastime game. He would put his hands on his lap. He would say, no. Let's play the Krishna pastime game. Can you do that, children? Can you, can you touch your thighs two times? No! And then clap. Let's play the Krishna pastime game. Only oh, thighs shall we play, I spy. No, let's play the Krishna pastime game. Only oh, thighs shall we play. Stuck in the mud. No, let's play the Krishna pastime game. On it, what shall we play? No, let's play the Krishna pastime game. On it, shall we play peekaboo? No, let's play the Krishna pastime game. On it, shall we play chase the cat? Children, Nithai absolutely loved the Krishna pastime game. Do you know how they played the Krishna pastime game? Oh, you don't? Well, I must tell you. Now, they would each pretend that they were someone in the Krishna pastime. One boy would act as a very scary demon. One would act 
as if he was Putna, a scary little witch. And she'd come along and get bigger and bigger and get another cowherd boy and say, drink my milk. And then she'd say, oh no, child, leave me, leave me. And all the boys would be laughing because one boy would be pretending to have his milk from, from this witch. And the witch would be pretending to, ah, uh, to, to lose her life and both boys would fall on the ground ah! and everyone would laugh. Another time they'd pretend that one was a whirlwind demon. And they'd twirl around really, really fast. Can you twirl around really fast? Oh my goodness! Then he would pick up another boy and then he'd try and hold him and he'd say, oh, you're getting too heavy for me. And together they would fall on the ground. One time they would pretend to be Bakasura, a very, very evil bird that came along, that came along and tried to swallow Krishna. But oh no, the other cowherd boy, the other boy that pretended to be Krishna would defeat him. And then another boy would pretend he was an evil snake. And then another boy would come and defeat him. Oh my goodness, they had so much fun all day long. Oh no, children. Oh no. Oh no. It's all gonna finish. Oh no, children, the stars, the stars are up in the sky. Oh, you know what that means? That means it's almost night time. It's time to stop playing. It's time to go home, go to our beds and fall asleep because the stars are up in the sky. I'm going to get my nightcap. Good night. On. Oh no, no, they don't need their nightcaps on right now because they were playing all day long and all night long. Do you think their mummies and daddies minded? Do you think they were angry that their children didn't come home and go to sleep because they should be sleeping otherwise they will be tired and grouchy? You know what it's like when we haven't had enough sleep. But no, children, the parents, the mummies and daddies were so happy. They were so happy that their children got to play with Nithai 
because they loved Nithai too. And they thought, this is the best thing. If my son gets to play with Nithai all day long and all night long, oh my goodness. They were so happy. They embraced Nithai. They gave him a cuddle and they were so, so happy. Hey, children. Would your mummies and daddies be okay with you playing with Nithai all day long and all night long, every single day? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> now, children, one day Nithai played a game where he was no longer in the Krishna pastime. He was in another pastime. He said, I am Lakshman. I am the brother of Lord Sri Ram. Yes, I need to help my brother look for his beautiful wife Sita. You see, she's been kidnapped and we are going to find her. We know that she is across the, the ocean, she's being held in Lanka, but we need an army. I need to help my brother find an army. And he called all of his friends. I need an army. I need monkeys. <laughs> Some boys turned into monkeys. I need elephants. Oompa, 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 ba. Some boys turned into elephants. I need some mighty lions. Some boys turned into lions. I need some squirrels. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. Some boys turned into squirrels. And together they built. Indeed, together they built a bridge. 
across a tiny little river just outside Nithai's house because they were still pretending they were in the Ram pastime and this river they pretended was the mighty ocean. They got sticks and twigs and built their little bridge to go across. As they built their bridge and crossed the ocean, they sang Jaya Ragunath, Jaya Ragunath, Jaya Ragunath, Jaya Ragunath. Oh, they were so happy. They got to the other side and they began fighting. They were fighting with the demons. Now some boys pretended they were Ravan and the evil demons and some boys pretended that they were Ram and Lakshman and the monkeys and all the animals helping. But at one point the little boy that was playing Ravan said, Oh Lakshman, see if you could stop me. I have the Shakti Shela weapon. It wasn't really a weapon, children. It was actually a very, very delicate lotus flower, but he was pretending it was a weapon. He said, Oh Lakshman, see if you can stop this Shakti Shela weapon. It is so powerful, it can defeat you. Ha 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 ha! And Lakshman said, oh yeah? He said, yeah. And he got the Shakti Shela weapon. Do you think it will really do anything to little Nithai? No! no. no. Oh yes, it will! Oh, no. oh yes, it will! Oh, no. oh yes, it will! Oh, no. Let's have a look. He lifted up his Shakti Shela weapon, which was actually just a very delicate lotus flower, and he threw it at Lakshman. <gasps> oh no! Nithai, who was playing Lakshman, he was struck by the lotus flower. It looked like he'd been struck by something very, very hard, for now he fell down to the ground, unconscious. He wouldn't wake up. He fainted. He was completely unconscious. The children thought, maybe he's playing, he's pretending to be Lakshman. <laughs> Nithai, <laughs> he said. Wake up, Nithai! <laughs> the game's over! Come on, Nithai, wake up! Wake up now, let's carry on playing! Nithai didn't wake up. Nithai, please, you're scaring us! The boy said. Nithai still did not wake up. Nithai, please wake up! We need you! You are our life, our soul, our everything! Please, please, I hope nothing's happened to you! It was just a delicate lotus flower! Oh. They all started to cry. They called Padmavati Hadai Pandit! His mother and father, they came running to the scene and they saw their lovely, beautiful Nittai, a little Nittai, on the floor, unconscious. They said, no, we didn't do anything, we just threw a lotus flower, just this lotus flower. It was a very, very delicate lotus flower. I don't, I don't know what happened, oh my goodness. And Hadai Pandit and Padmavati, they fainted. So now there was Nittai fainted on the floor. There was Padmavati and Hadai Pandit, his mother and father, fainted on the floor. And everyone around them was crying, children. They were crying. Nittai, their best friend. Nittai, their most, most playful person. The person that they wanted to play with all day and all night was now no, hardly breathing. Nittai, have they lost Nittai forever? They couldn't stop crying. Oh, children, they couldn't think of anything else. 
nothing else until somebody came along and said, you know, I heard about an actor who was playing Dasharat in the Ram pastime. He was playing Lord Ram's father. And when Lord Ram went on exile and he left Ayodhya and went to the forest, Dasharat, he, he just died. The actor died, even though it wasn't even real. It was, just, it was just a play, but he died. Yes, yes, that happened. And the boys just remembered. They wiped their tears. Oh, we remember, we remember, they said. Yes, Nithai told us, he told us, this is how we're doing the play. He said, you hit me with the weapon, the Shakti Shela weapon, and I'm going to fall down unconscious, and then you, you all need to cry, and, and then you need to send Hanuman to go and get the magic herb. They said, we completely forgot about the rest of it. We were just really sad that, that he, he'd, he'd fallen unconscious. And so they called the little boy that was playing Hanuman. And the little boy stepped forward. They said, go, turn into Hanuman and, and go and find the special herb that will wake Lakshman up. Because Nithai is not going to wake up until you bring the special herb. Hanuman said, yes, I'll do it right away. It was the little boy who was playing Hanuman. Yes, I'll go, I'll go right now. Goodbye, everyone. And everyone said, yes, go, hurry, go, quick. Okay, okay, bye-bye. Ah, 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 ah. I'm a little Hanuman, furry and strong. Open up my heart and you'll find Sitaram. Fly across to Lanka to search for Mother Seed And jump up and down and have fun, fun, fun Now, as Hanuman was looking for the herb He came across a sage in the forest The sage stopped him Oh, my dear monkey Hanuman, please Come and eat, Hanuman said. Do you not know? Lakshman, my dear Lakshman, has fainted. He's fainted and he won't wake up until I get the herb. So I must go and get the herb. The sage said, oh, but you can't go on an empty stomach, eh? eh? You need to go and have a very quick, quick bath. Then you can come back and have a quick, quick bite. And then you can go and find your herb to save Lakshman. Hanuman thought, oh goodness, do we really have time for this? Okay, I'll just have a very quick, quick bath and a very quick, quick bite to eat. Thank you, Sage. And then I'll be on my way. And off Hanuman went to the river to have a bath. But children, there was something very strange, very suspicious lurking in the waters of the river. Never smile at a crocodile. No, you can't get friendly with a crocodile. Don't be taken in by his friendly grin. He's imagining how well he'll fit within his skin. Deadly croc. A boy was pretending to be a crocodile in the river and he dragged Hanuman in. But Hanuman dragged the boy out and he defeated the crocodile. <laughs> go, Hanuman, go! Yes, Hanuman defeated the crocodile and then he went back to the sage was no longer a sage. He was actually an evil demon. He was a warrior on the side of the mighty Ravan. He opened up his mouth because he wanted to eat Hanuman. But Hanuman was so powerful, he defeated the evil demon too. Go, 
Hanuman go! Yes, Hanuman defeated the crocodile. Hanuman defeated the demon. And off he went to search for the herb. He found the herb. He found the mountain with the herb. He quickly brought it back. And the doctor took the herb and gave it to little Nithai, who was still unconscious. Little Nithai smelt the herb and opened his eyes and jumped up and everyone was very, very happy. Jai Nithai! Jai Nithai! Jai Nithai! They were all very, very relieved. Little Nithai pretended to fight with Ravana. Ravana boy threw at him a lotus flower. Oh no! On the ground he lay. For a moment he stayed. And. And. Smell the herb, jump up mid thigh. Smell the herb, jump up mid thigh. Smell the herb, jump up mid thigh. Jump up mid thigh. Smell the herb, jump up mid thigh. Smell the herb, jump up mid thigh. Jump up mid thigh. And that's all for now, children. We'll see you soon. Always remember Krishna and never forget Krishna. Yeah.